hey guys uh, in this video I am going to show you what P list are if you go to your Xcode and if you say new file let me make a new project first uh, let's call it view based application P list app and P lists what they are basically they are NS dictionaries um, converted into file format so let me make it a little smaller let's go to one of the plist there's already a plist file included in the project which gives you key and value and what type it is if it's string if it's boolean array you have you can have dictionaries you can have dictionary inside dictionaries arrays inside dictionaries you know, a bunch of different variables you can think of them as a nice way to format your uh, variables so let me go ahead and make a plist file let me show you how a basic plist file actually looks like if I just say open it as a source code so you will see that it has some XML file it looks like there's some key and string key string key string so key value pairs arrays are in an array format uh, for a particular key so that's how it looks like if you do source code but this is how uh, Xcode reads it as let's make a new file call it uh, you can find that in inside resources actually resource uh, property list and let's call it global so a place where you can save all your global values so by for doing that you have to say, for to add a row you have to say right click add a row and you'll say a new item so the name is a string let's say and I give my name so that's how I save a new row and I'll say address and I will say this is an array and I can say uh, and if I want to add something to it I have to first do this and say add row so it will add it inside it if I close it and say add row it will add it below it and I can give something else car to I drive so I say Miles the address now in address I want to give first item as say or I can say uh, this as something else where I have multiple of the same items so I'll say suppose I have three cars I'll say cars item zero say miles the delete this add a row and this is item one so I'll say BMW and I'll say add row I'll say Honda so I have three different cars and put it like that and now I want to add a row for my address but address I don't want it string or boolean or anything I want it as a dictionary dictionary again is a key value pair so I'll say add row and it'll say what do you want I want street and I can say to three main street I can say add row city say Rockwell can add another row and state say Maryland so this is how you can add a dictionary I can add another one you can say zip code and I can say no it's an array so what if I have two zip codes so I, as soon as I do that and I say add row could add 20852 add row 222020 so that's how you make a plist you can add a bunch of different things to your plist next what I would do is I would go ahead and show you how to access this in your code file so view control is already, already, already there so now suppose I want to display my name so first I need is a handle to that global plist file so I'll say plist file equal to and it sits inside the entire bundle of the app so there's something called a ns bundle main bundle inside the main bundle path for resource I want a path for resource what is the name of the resource file global and type it's plist 
so that's how I specify that what file I want now once I have that I get the string now I have to use it uh, it's a dictionary as I said and it's dictionary star dict equal to this dictionary dictionary with contents of file what is the file plist file so this will get entire plist into the dictionary now I want to display it so I'll say ns log percentage at the rate I'm gonna def show the string so I'll say dict object for key what is the first object on top name so I'll just say name so it will give, give me whatever the key is for the name so there we go to close this and let's see if it runs set to simulator and run it so it will access that particular one and it will log it out so nothing will be shown in the iPhone because it's a view, con view based application there will be view coming up and in here you see the name shows up Vivinarana. similarly I can use it for other things so I want to display the cars that I have so I'll just say cars if I run it give me an array of all the three cars similarly I can do address it'll show me address is null I guess I gave some name to that ADRES is spelling mistake common thing so if you do spelling mistake at one place to do it everywhere so go ahead and run it it should give me a dictionary so there we go dictionary with city state looks like more like a json string dictionaries with equal to sign instead of colon so that's about plist it's 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 used much it's, it's used a lot to define your common variables so if you are using something quite often and want to change it at only one place like for example i use web service that i use so i can i give it http suppose tomorrow i want to change it to yahoo i don't have to look for that particular uh, variable everywhere i can just change it at one place and it's changed everywhere so that's something that you can use it for hmm. thank you for watching and let me know if you have any questions in your comments thanks